guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and today I am in Yellowstone National Park, a beautiful day, and I wanna talk about what we're looking at behind me here. Oh my gosh, incredibly beautiful, and what a unique environment. Now, you're looking at a couple things here. First of all, obviously, you're gonna notice the water coming out. This is a pretty hot water. Uh, some of these springs in Yellowstone are actually boiling, so over 200 degrees, so keep that in mind. But what I want you to really notice is that white that's on that side of that cliff there. That's actually something called travertine. And believe it or not, people actually use travertine in their kitchens a lot of times. But travertine is actually a product of what's happening back here. There's a bunch of bacteria that's in this water. Uh, some of it is, is, is like filament bacteria where it's all like stringy. And the rest of it's a cyano, cyanobacteria, which basically is a bacteria that can photosynthesize. So just like plants, the bacteria that's in this water can actually form its own food. That's really cool. But what happens is when that bacteria dies, it actually essentially almost like fossilizes. And that's what you're seeing. That's what that travertine is. It's essentially a fossil record of the millions of years of bacteria that have lived and died in this area. Now, my favorite thing about this bacteria is that this is one of the most extreme environments on the planet. And that we know that this bacteria feeds on the chemicals in this water. So that's why when you come here, it kind of stinks like rotten eggs. That's the sulfur smell. That bacteria is eating that, which means that this bacteria can live in environments that we never thought were possible many, many years ago, we now do. What that means is that some of this bacteria, maybe not the same kind, but perhaps some bacteria can survive in extreme environments, maybe on other planets. And so places like Yellowstone give us hope that maybe life exists somewhere else other than Earth. I love that, I can't get enough of it, and that's why I love these crazy environments that you can find right here. How cool is that? Guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature God, and I hope to see you at the zoo.